I mentioned earlier, you wrote the article that Jim Schwartz was the right guy for the Browns right now. Take us through that and, and what your reaction were to what you heard from him today. Well, thanks, Dave. You know, the biggest thing is I just felt like the Browns are in a window to try to win now. And you don't, not, not taking anything away from, you know, a guy who's been a position coach somewhere else or from the candidates they had. I wanted a former head coach or a former defensive coordinator, somebody that's been there, done that, has a proven track record. And Jim Schwartz definitely has that, you know, won the Super Bowl with the Eagles. He's a no-nonsense type of guy, fiery. And I just think he checks the boxes the Browns need because Kevin Stefanski pretty much turns the defense over to the coordinator. And I just felt Joe Woods was maybe too similar to Stefanski in temperament, nothing wrong with that. But I just think Schwartz is a guy that will command respect from day one on the defense. And they had so many shenanigans on that side of the ball this year. I just think that will be eliminated. And I don't think this team has to be the 85 Bears. They just need to to go from giving up 23, 24 points a game to maybe 18, 19, 20 you know, in just that stretch of four games where they lost, you know, by nine points, that was the difference between making the playoffs or not. You know, blown coverage is that Jets game and the Chargers game, and you're in the playoffs with a nine and eight record. And that's without just Deshaun Watson playing for 11 games. Yeah. And again, the defense woefully underperformed. We showed a thing earlier in the show, they were 30th in pressures. In the, in the league. So that means there's only two teams that were worse than them. That shouldn't happen when you have Miles Garrett lining up at defensive end. And, and you also have Jadavian Clowney and you have Jeremiah. You have too many pieces to not be able to get pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. And, and even when they did, it was too late. You know, you can't, the last two years, the first half of the season, the defense underperformed, and then they started playing better in the second half. But it was too late, especially this year. When you're four and seven, the season was over. And I just think you have to hit the ground running from day one. Jim Schwartz had a defense. Sure, he had great personnel, but he's known for developing defensive tackles and and run stopping. This team, more than anything, was a, near the bottom in run stopping. Anybody who watched the Browns, 10 of the last 14 games, they gave up 135 yards or more rushing. And you can't win in the NFL with that type of, of defensive play. And he, the year they won the Super Bowl, they were number one. They gave up 79 yards a game. So I'm not saying it's all on him. They have to get the right personnel. But he knows what it looks like and will help them develop or get the players to fit those pieces.